Involved shooting that left a man dead last night. Police telling us University of Cincinnati police officer Ray Tensing shot and killed 43 year old Sam DeBose after pulling him over for a routine traffic stop. Fox 19 now's Jordan Valines joining us with more details released during today's press conference. That's right. We're here on the corner of Rice Street. As you can see, this is where several people have gathered right now. Many people are openly upset, mourning the death of Sam DuBose. Just a minute ago, the man who was speaking also called for the resignation of Officer Tensing. Now, as they're continuing to talk about just what a great man Sam DuBose was. Bag of emotions at this afternoon's press conference. The family of Sam DuBose still reeling in disbelief over the death of their loved one. Basically, they chased him down and murdered him. The cop got harmed because he was chasing and shooting after the vehicle. Why would they be shooting after the vehicle if their life wasn't in danger? On the other side of the coin in this case is police, who outlined the series of events that they say led up to the fatal shooting of DuBose by police officer Ray Tenzing. They say during the traffic stop, Officer Tenzing asked DeBose several times to provide a driver's license. But instead, they say DeBose pulled out a bottle of alcohol, handing it to the officer. That's when they say Officer Tenzing asked DeBose to get out of the car. From what we can tell, a struggle then ensued. Officer Tenzing fired one shot from his duty weapon and was knocked to the ground. The vehicle continued in motion down Rice Street to the intersection of Rice and Valencia, where it came to rest. DeBose died after being shot once in the head. Soon after, two more UC police officers responded, but neither they nor Officer Tenzing have given their full statements to investigators. They have the officer's body camera. Why have they not looked at this footage so that they can let us know exactly what happened, so they can tell us the truth, so that we can know that our my stepdad did not die in vain. And they made it seem as if the officer was dragged. We got to the scene and found out a whole different story. Come on now. Police say they have spoken with witnesses who have varying perspectives on what they saw and heard after the fatal shot was fired. Now, this afternoon, we also learned that Officer Tenzing has another 24 hours at the very most to, until giving an official statement to Cincinnati police who are now conducting this investigation. Reporting live, Jordan Valines, Fox 19 Now. Jordan, thank you. My son had no business getting killed. Nobody had no right to put a gun to his head and shoot him. What did he do to deserve that? My son had no business getting killed. Nobody had no right to put a gun to his head and shoot him. What did he do to deserve that?